The nervous system is a very complex system and its function in the body is to control all of the processes that are going on. Not only does it control all of the processes that occur within the human body, but it also relates it to the surrounding environment as well. So we can divide the nervous system into the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. So the central nervous system consists of the brain, the brain stem and the spinal cord. The responsibility of the central nervous system is to gather all the information which is being received from other parts of the body and coordinate a certain response. The brain, which is a component of the central nervous system, consists of the cerebrum and the cerebellum. Within the cerebrum itself, there are four different lobes. We have frontal, parietal, occipital and temporal lobes. And we have the cerebellum, which you can see here. We have the brainstem, which consists of the midbrain, pons and medulla. And we have the spinal cord, which is nervous tissue, which is located in the vertebra of humans. I'm going to be making a separate video on the specific functions of all of these components. But just to summarize it, all of these components, which you can see here, all receive information from other parts of the body and coordinate a certain response, depending on its location and what it controls. The peripheral nervous system, which is another division of the nervous system, consists of all other nerves and ganglia which are outside of the brain and the spinal cord. So we have the central nervous system, which is consisting of the brain, the brainstem and the spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, which is all the other nerves which are outside of the brain and spinal cord. We can further divide the peripheral nervous system into the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. So the somatic nervous system is responsible for voluntary control of movement through the skeletal muscles. So anytime you want to move your arm consciously, it's done by the somatic nervous system. And for this to take place, we have afferent nerves, which are sensory and efferent nerves, which are motor. So afferent nerves or sensory nerves are directed towards the central nervous system or the brain or the spinal cord even. So they are from a receptor or a certain part of the body, but their direction is towards the central nervous system. Efferent nerves or motor nerves are traveling away from the central nervous system. And in the case of skeletal muscle movement, they end up reaching a muscle so that we have muscle contraction. The autonomic nervous system is basically responsible for involuntary control, so we can divide it one more time into the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. So the sympathetic nervous system, which is part of the autonomic nervous system, is basically your body's response to emergencies. You might have heard of the saying fight or flight. Well, basically, the sympathetic nervous system is responsible for this. So in the cases of emergency, or if you're scared, or if you hurt yourself, the body responds accordingly to help you survive in those circumstances. So if you're running away from something, or if you're having a fight, you have increased muscle blood flow, there's pupil dilation and your heart's beating faster. Or if you touch a hot object and you have to rapidly move your hand away, this is all done through the sympathetic nervous system. The other part of the autonomic nervous system is the parasympathetic nervous system. So this is a way for the body to preserve its energy and to function very efficiently. So what it does is it controls all of the background processes which are going on in the body. And it's an involuntary process. So it's responsible for things like digestion and blood pressure and your heart rate. So things that you aren't actually conscious about, but what is constantly occurring within the body. And lastly, just to end the video, there's some final definitions here. So the nervous system basically consists of nervous tissue. So we have nerve cells or neurons and glia. Nerve cells are what receive and transfer and conduct these electrical signals and glia provide support for the neurons.